Summer. How you doing? Good. That's good. My name is Kayla Tanner. I'm Métis. I'm the junior leader for the Aboriginal Health High School Internship Program. I was actually one of the first participants in this program. I'm coordinating the students this year that involves job shadowing. Basically, I make sure these students know where they're going. I'm working with their schedules and the facilities. There's so many more careers that you don't even see. When you go to a doctor's, all you think is nurses, doctors. These are the only people who work here. But no, it's so much more than that. There's lab and imaging and people who do x-rays. You've got the receptionists, all the cleaning people in the background, housekeeping, laundry, dietary. And there's so many different careers to consider in healthcare. To be a successful Aboriginal today is to be confident in who you are. I want everybody to work together to make these kids confident because I wasn't at that time. I was shy, I was quiet, I didn't know how to talk to adults. I grew up in a white community. I knew I was different but I didn't know why. And I came here and suddenly I fit in but I don't fit in. I wanted to further myself. I knew I wanted high grades. There were maybe five or six Aboriginal students in my grad class out of 165. That number needs to be higher, and I want to be one of the students that is a role model. Hi, Mia. How are you doing? Good. Going throughout elementary school, middle school, high school, I knew I always wanted to make my parents proud. When I was getting ready to graduate from high school, my parents were starting to have issues. They were talking about separating, and then they did separate. It was like my family was broken all of a sudden, and who am I supposed to make proud now? What am I going to do? I don't even know what am I doing. Going to my first couple years in university, it was then that it clicked that I need to do this for myself and because I, it's something I love doing. I want students to be confident. I want happy young Aboriginal people. If they don't have a support system or a foundation the way I do, I want to be that foundation for them. You can't be afraid to ask questions. You need to be able to say, I can't do this, I need help. I need to reach out, I need to connect with these people. You could be in the lowest place, but I always believe that it's always, it's always going to get better. You're special, you have a gift, you were put here for a reason, and you can do whatever you want to do, even if you don't have that foundation.